you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2023 nissan titan courtesy of younger nissan in frederick maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so today we're in this one because there is one big change for the 2023 titan not only that i personally like the pro 4x version just because it's the most off-road trim level of all of the titans another cool interesting fact about the titan specifically is you get best-in-class warranty being five years or 100,000 miles bumper to bumper warranty we're not just talking about the powertrain so best in class there and you don't actually get that with the nissan frontier fun fact there so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing msrp for the pro 4x titan will start at fifty two thousand eight hundred and ten dollars which by the way is a sixteen hundred and ten dollar price increase from the 2022 pro 4x titan powering the beast is a 5.6 liter direct injected v8 putting out 400 horsepower at 5800 rpm 413 pound feet of torque coming in at 4000 rpm power sent to all four wheels through nissan's four wheel drive system that power is sent to the ground through a nine speed automatic zero to six time coming in at approximately 7.3 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 15 in the city 20 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway here let's put the titan here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 nissan titan here up to speed all right in three two one go baby Whew. <laughs> this thing's fun. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. This has got V8 after all, so plenty of an acceleration here in the Titan. Dare I say, that was even a little bit of fun. So yeah, that's plenty of pickup for the 2023 Titan here. So I am definitely a big fan of that. But anyways, as always to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.6 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 is your stopping distance goes, it's going to come in at 131 feet as far as braking feel goes. Hey, it's actually not that bad. Definitely on the softer side of things. It's not a firm braking feel or anything like that, but I didn't expect it to be with a truck the size of the Titan. So it is a softer braking feel. Wouldn't have minded if they firm that up a little bit. But having said that, I've seen trucks with that 60 zero number in the 140. So 131 feet, honestly, for the size of this thing is plenty respectable. But then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get an independent double wishbone type front suspension in the back, multi-leaf rear suspension with solid axle front and rear suspension stabilizer bars and since we have the pro x trim level bilstein off-road performance shocks as well so that is pretty cool but overall as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine on my short test drive here today i would actually say it's kind of on the smoother side of things which kind of uh i didn't expect i think i might have said that in last year's review but i don't know that the titan does actually ride pretty smooth smoother than most trucks that i review and i've reviewed all of them i believe at this point for the most part so definitely a nice ride in this thing as far as steering feel goes 100 on the heavier side of things which i personally love and a truck like the titan that is something that you want you don't want a loosey-goosey steering feel so instantly points you in the direction that you want to go in a very heavy steering feel so i'm a fan of that then touching on cabin noise as we are going to go what two miles per hour right now there definitely can hear the sound of that v8 when you really get on it but other than that this is a pretty isolated cabin so i certainly have not had any issues with cabin noise in my short little test drive here today then touching on visibility it's a truck it pretty much looks like every other truck out there so if you've ever had a pickup truck before you know what the rear visibility is going to look like there but it gets better actually with forward visibility you actually get rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on the pro 4x so essentially what that is is when the titan detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you so it's kind of like automatic headlights it's just one less thing you got to worry about so you can better focus your attention on actually enjoying the drive but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Nissan Titan. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Nissan Titan finished in deep blue pearl. In case you were curious about the name of our particular color that we have with us here today, I actually love this color, but let's go ahead and start with where this one is actually made because as you know, Nissan is a Japanese brand, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is built there. So 
VIN number does indicate that this one starts with a one, meaning this one is built in the US. So this one is made in America. That's pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Matte black front grille with the red Nissan logo with the Pro 4X lettering found at the bottom portion of it. You got the Titan lettering spelled out horizontally at the upper portion of that front grille as well. So definitely looks good up there. You got red tow hooks to go along with the red Nissan logo down below, of course. Active grill shutters, meaning this grill shutters are going to open and close depending upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. Also down below, you got silver skid plates that is going to come standard. And actually, there's a ton of skid plates that come with the Titan because you also get skid plates for the transfer case, oil pan, fuel tank, and transmission skid plates as well. So that is a ton of them. Make your way to the side. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights does come standard. Automatic feature, of course, and automatic high beams as well. So if you have your high beams on at night, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically then bounce it back up to high beams for you there. And LED fog lights can be found down below as well. So it looks pretty much the same as last year, but a very good look. I will say that. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's not go ahead and make our way to the side of the Titan. All right. So, but now since we are around to the side of this one, matte black window surrounds does come standard pro 4X badging found on the uh, back corner there, the rear tailgate. That definitely looks pretty good as well. Running boards are actually going to be optional on the Titan. So we do have that option. I like the red Titan lettering spelled out on those running boards as well. It's pretty cool. Power adjustable matte black side mirrors are going to come standard. They will be heated. And if you go with the pro 4X convenience, package you're actually going to get integrated turn signals along with puddle lights the reverse tilt down feature and auto dimming side mirrors then as well so the convenience package you're going to find is going to add a ton to the pro 4x titan here and i'll continuously name them as we go along in the video here but rear privacy class is going to come standard then take a look at the wheel configuration 18 inch dark finished aluminum alloys are going to be the standard configuration here for the pro 4x but anyways pretty much rounds out the side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one just taking a look at the tailgate here real quick pro 4x specific tailgate because you got that pro 4x badging it's going to be uh, kind of with a matte black surround there. You got the Nissan logo yet again finished with some red accents back there. LED taillights though do come standard on the Titan. And you don't actually always get that on all Nissans even right now with new vehicles. So I do like the LED taillights back there. One of the cool little things about the taillights, I'm going to get a, a little bit closer here for you guys so you can see this. You got, got this uh, Titan-ish looking logo found in the rear tailgates there as well. So I actually thought that was pretty cool. Nice little attention to detail that Nissan put into the taillights there. Of course, just below it all, you do have four and seven pin connectors. Towing capacity is going to come in at 9,050 pounds in case you were interested. And you guys can kind of see in the back corner there, there's actually a tailgate step. So if you wanted to, all you got to do is kind of just push down on that and then you're able to climb up there. So that is pretty darn convenient in my personal opinion. I like that. But then of course, just underneath of it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet you guys can probably see those bilstein shocks underneath as well but anyways single exhaust outlet so i do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the Titan, first thing I want to mention, it is an easy lower tailgate, so it's not going to come flying down at you. It does lower very slowly, so I do like that. Payload capacity comes in at 1,500 pounds, in case you were curious. Factory applied spray on bed liner does actually come standard on the Pro 4X, so I'm a big fan of that because that isn't always the case on some of the competition out there. Fixed tie down cleats are going to come standard and LED cargo bed lighting then as well. But then make your way up to the rear legroom. That's going to come in at 38.5 inches. So for reference, I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders coming standard. There are 60 40 split folding up rear seats as well in typical truck fashion. So definitely give you a bunch more room back. There is a little storage compartment underneath of that as well. Rear ventilation does come standard. Dual rear USB charging ports also coming standard. 12 volt power outlet, 120 volt power outlet though as well. So you could charge up your drill in the back there. Heated rear seats do come standard and a power sliding rear window, of course, coming standard as well. So always a fan of that. But anyways, 
Then make your way up to the front seats. Stain resistant cloth seats are going to come standard, although that's not what we have today, and I'll get to that in a split second here, but eight-way power driver's seat with power lumbar coming standard. Convenience package though, yet again, I'm gonna mention this because that is going to add a four-way power adjustable passenger seat, then heated front and rear seats as well. Memory settings for up to two different drivers, gotta love that. And of course, leather seating as well. And I also like the Red Pro 4X stitched into the seats themselves. So thought that was a nice added touch and the red contrast stitching throughout really. But overall seating was definitely plenty adjustable. So therefore it was plenty comfortable. So definitely no issues with the seating whatsoever in the Titan. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. And then if you were to go with that convenience package, it is power adjustable and actually heated then as well. So on these super cold days in Frederick like today, that is definitely a good thing. But then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. Essentially, all of your buttons are located on one side of the key. Nissan logo to the top. Remote start, that circular button. That's actually going to come with the convenience package, but then lock and unlock, of course, as well. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so when started up, when it comes to the gauges, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is on your right. There's a fairly large digital display front and center. And again, with the Titan logo found within the tachometer, I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but that is pretty cool, a little Easter egg there. Of course, steering wheel mounted controls, you can control a bunch of different things within the digital portion of the gauges. You got safety information. There's a speed limit indicator to the upper portion. There's how many miles you have left until you hit empty, outside temperature tire pressure information for each individual tire. I like that. You can display a digital speedometer as well. So pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges there. But so then making our way to overall interior quality, there is a dual pane panorama roof that goes for $1,490. We do have that. So big fan of that. Dual zoom climate control coming standard. Auto dimming rear view mirror with homely controls for up to three different garage doors. So I'm a big fan of that. Although I think I would have preferred a frameless rear view mirror, but frameless rear view mirrors typically give you a little more real estate on the corners as opposed to the kind that we have here. But anyways, LED interior lighting does come standard overhead sunglass holder also coming standard just underneath of all the climate control information you have a little slot to either put your cell phone or sunglasses whatever you prefer got your heated seat buttons of course there's a little bit of storage underneath of all of that as well you got your dual cup holders and within the center armrest let me tell you guys this is a very deep center armrest there's a ton of space in here there's actually a 12 volt power outlet within there as well so that is definitely very nice overall having said that interior quality is still a little bit on the basic side there's a lot of black plastic around the cup holders and things like that but overall i personally wouldn't have any issues but now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen there's a nine inch color touchscreen display that does come standard bluetooth and audio streaming of course but here's where there is the big change for 2023 android auto does come standard but then wireless apple carplay so if you have an iphone you now have wireless wireless connectivity with Apple CarPlay. So you don't actually have to plug in your phone anymore via USB cable. You still do if you have an Android, but you don't if you have an iPhone. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, factory navigation system does come standard. You can check out your stock and weather information actually if you wanted to up there as well. And your radio information, of course. And so when it comes to the sound systems, six speakers is going to come standard, but there is an optional 12 speaker Fender sound system. That is the one actually that we have today. So. What do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Bass was insane. That was a ton of clarity as well, but honestly, I, I wasn't questioning the clarity because the, with trucks, they're not that big inside the cabin, but the bass was insane. I love that Fender sound system with the Titan without a doubt. So big fan of that. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen at least is when you do put the Titan in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard. But again, if you go with the convenience package, you're gonna get that bird's eye view or panoramic view monitor found on the right there, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. You don't always get that. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard a ton of advanced safety here on the pro 4x adaptive cruise control lane departure warning and driver intention monitoring system forward collision warning autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection reverse automatic braking blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert rear parking sensors and traffic sign recognition then 
as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Titan, I will say you get the best in class truck warranty. It's incredible that you can get a five year, 100,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on a truck. That is very, very nice. I love the steering feel. Love how it's weighted definitely on the heavier side of things. I'm always a fan of that. Great ride quality actually, surprisingly for a truck as well. You got a very, very powerful V8 in this thing. Big fan of that. So as room for improvement goes, I think a full digital gauge cluster will look pretty darn good in here. Make it a little customizable so you can change the loadouts possibly like Mercedes-Benz does it. But having said that, it doesn't even have to be that good. Just maybe put the digital gauge cluster from the new Rogue in the Titan as well. I think that would be perfectly fine. The braking feel is a little bit on the soft side for me, but again, it's to be expected in a truck like this. And this thing is kind of missing the originality factor, I would say. So, so many trucks out there have little quirks or special Easter eggs, features like that, that this truck is just kind of missing. So, I did want to mention that. Nissan, maybe you can come up with something creative and uh, kind of make this thing a little more special. Not that it's not a good truck, just something a little more outside the box. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new Titan in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure Sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold